Okay, so for this video, I thought I would share to you guys how I normally make my drawings. See, unlike in my drawing tutorials where it's just strictly step by step, this is a lot more chill and laid back. So this is how my video is gonna go. I talk, you listen, we'll have a great time. I'm also gonna show you guys the inner thoughts that I have while working on my drawing. Before we go on though, please like the video, thank you. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just making the sketch. Before I worked on the sketch though, I looked for references on Pinterest, like always. Basically, I had one major reference, which is this one, and then a reference for my character, and then a couple of other references for specific parts of the drawing. Anyway, this sketch looks really ugly now, but I place a lot of trust in the process. So now it's time to clean up on my sketch. So I don't make another layer for the line art, I simply just erase my sketch and draw over it. So usually when I'm drawing, I like to put on some music to get into the mood. So for this drawing, I wanted it to have like very menacing but attractive vibes. Because like, that's the vibes that I get from this character, Cairo, from a webtoon called Sub-Zero. So yeah, I listen to that type of music. Sometimes I would even play a certain song on repeat for like a whole hour because it completely captures that vibe. Is that weird? Along the way, I sometimes test how it's gonna look like when it has shadows. And also, I play around with the expressions. Anyway, the line art is the most tedious part because it involves a lot of cleaning up. Also, like, when I'm doing line art, I tend to zoom out just to make my lines smooth, which is kind of really hard to do since it strains my eyes. And I mean, it really strains my eyes. But it's the cost of making art. I eventually had to wear glasses. I bought these, like, anti-radiation glasses. Anyway, I also leave the hair for last because the hair is also super hard to draw. As for the hand, though, I actually drew this on a separate layer because I literally just drew his abs and if I were to screw up in drawing the hands, I would have to erase his beautiful abs. No, thank you. So yeah, I'm drawing the hair right now. Anyway, yes, I changed his expression again, but I mean, if you see the end result, it's obviously not like this, you'll see later. Anyway, it's time to color. Color is my favorite part because it gives me the most freedom, I guess? So I just paint over the drawing carelessly. I'm gonna fix that later. So now I'm adding more shadows and depth. So as I said, I wanted this character to be a bit intimidating, so I added a shadow to his eyes. It sort of makes him a bit mysterious and also dark. I mean, to be fair, it's sort of a common theme in my drawings to be dark and mysterious. I just like drawing that type of character. I also make their eyes dark as well. And also, I kept changing the mouth. Like, I was debating whether or not I would have him stick his tongue out. That sounds weird out of context. But anyway, it kind of looked a bit too much. Like, I didn't want my drawing to be a bit too suggestive, if that's the right word. Anyhow, it didn't suit his character anyway, so... My current style is actually inspired by a lot of webtoon. I usually never have a solid art style, but ever since I made drawing tutorials, I was kind of forced to have a consistent art style. To be honest, I thought that I would never do this kind of art style. I usually went with semi-realism or just realism. So with that said, I'm trying very hard not to overcomplicate this drawing. Because anime and webtoon, they both have simple styles. and I struggle with it a lot. Like, I always want to make it a bit more complex, so I'm trying my very best not to make the nose a bit too detailed. When I'm coloring the skin, I always make sure to look at my references. Skin can be super hard to color sometimes, but honestly, it's very therapeutic for me. For example, I didn't think that this hand was drawn correctly until I colored and shaded it, and then it finally started to look normal, and I thought, oh yeah, I should really trust the process. Anyway, it was actually like past 12 o'clock at this point. The back of my head at this point was throbbing because believe it or not, I'm an early sleeper, but whenever I draw at night, I tend to work really long until I notice, oh crap, it's like 2 a.m. Anyway, next I drew the clothes. So basically, I just struggled to make it look like it has any weight at all. So 
So before drawing the background, I colored the hair. So if you've noticed, the hair is kind of getting lighter as it gets closer to the skin. I've seen many people color it that way, so I just decided to copy them. Then I added the shadows on a separate layer, just to play safe. The last thing I did was to create these highlights. So like, I placed them semi-circularly, if that makes sense. And then I just used a soft brush to erase the ends, to make the ends softer. The last thing I did before going to bed was the tattoo. It honestly looked flat, so then I just used a smudge tool and adjusted it. So anyway, the last thing left to do was to make the background and also a couple of refinements. Which I was too tired to do because it was like 1am and I was sleep deprived. So I just went to sleep and worked on it the next day. I basically just brushed over the lines to make it thicker. I also added a multiply layer to just make it darker and reddish. And then I also put a shine layer to kind of put an orangish kind of shine. It just looks a lot more sinister and intimidating that way. I also drew his dragon scales. This is part of his character. Anyway, I just refined it a bit more. I was honestly just experimenting, like trying to figure out how to make it look nicer. This was the end result. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This was a very chill video, so I hope you enjoyed. Also, please give this video a like and hit subscribe. Thanks. Stay cool.